We'll get this out of the way, the new Accord is good. Like its predecessor, this latest iteration is a comfortable, capable, generally pleasant vehicle better than most if not all of its competitors. Now that we've run it through our testing procedures, though, it's time to hit pause. In nearly every measure, the 2023 Accord is quantifiably worse than the Accord it replaces. We're not mad, but this isn't the normal cadence of things. That said, the prior car was so well executed, its successor may still be the best vehicle in its, shrinking, segment. Of course, our tests permit more than just an opportunity to stuff a vehicle full of sensors so we can deliver instrumented results. They give us a chance to live with a vehicle and experience it in the real world. First impressions are strong. The revised design comes off long and low in person, though the shape clearly wasn't designed around our Accord X test car's dinky-looking 17-inch wheels. We dig this cabin layout, it comes off as a maturation of the language unveiled with the current current generation Civic, and we appreciate how the styling cues aren't simply copied pasted from there, as was the case with the redesigned Crossing V. Nice standard digital instrument cluster, too. The fabric seats are comfortable if a bit rough to the touch, and Honda's door panels are constructed of durable feeling hard plastic. Likewise, the new high-resolution infotainment setup is responsive, but the touch display measures only 7.0 inches, an inch smaller than last year's model. We expect this level of equipment on mid-level trims like the Accord X we had in for testing, but here's the issue. This is as good as it gets if you want the 1.5-liter turbocharged i4. With the latest generation of its family sedan, Honda positioned its hybrid powertrain as the upmarket choice, and feature content is tied to trim, meaning there are almost no standalone options. Thankfully, the excellent Honda Sensing Active Safety Tech is standard. That said, the only way to get niceties like leather upholstery, 19-inch wheels, premium audio, and larger screened infotainment with Google integration is to go hybrid. The 1.5T is the better powertrain. Although it's less powerful, developing 192 horsepower, we prefer this setup to the hybrid soggy power delivery and inferior steering feel. The entry-level four-cylinder itself is a solid power plant. Paired with Honda's CVT, one of the better examples in the industry, Industry, the 1.5-liter Turbo 4 responds quickly to inputs from your right foot and provides more than enough performance for merging, passing, and climbing grades. The brakes feel solid and bite quickly without much squish. The standard Accord steers well, and it serves up neutral, predictable behavior through a corner. Thanks in part to the tall sidewall tires mounted on our small-wheeled test car, ride quality is excellent. As is typical of Honda, though, there's more wind and road noise than you'll find in most of its peers. Now the hard part. Just over two years ago, we tested an Accord EXL nearly identical to this 2023 model. We know the Accord isn't a numbers car, but there's a distinct trend of regression when you pay attention. Despite having an engine delivering the same horsepower and torque figures, the old Accord was more than 0.5 second quicker to 60 miles per hour and through the quarter mile. The new car also takes an additional 4 feet to stop from 60 miles per hour, now the longest stopping distance in its class, though it only weighs around 50 pounds more. We struggle to make sense of the poor performance, considering the previous model had identical engine output, transmission gearing, and tires. Perhaps our 2023 test car was having an off day, we look forward to testing another example. Figure 8 performance has faltered, too, and although the powertrain comes across as responsive in the real world, our track driver complained about the CVT acting sluggish during spirited driving. EPA fuel economy has dropped, too, though not by the same margin. The previous generation Accord achieved an additional 1 mpg in both city, highway ratings versus its successor's 29 mpg ratings. Last year's model could cover an additional 14 miles on a tank of gas. We'll say it again, the Accord is a good car. Honda's latest take on the midsize sedan is understated LY stylish, drives much better than the segment demands, and provides a spacious, comfortably suspended cabin for its occupants. The problem is its predecessor. Certified pre-owned last-gen Accords are plentiful and cost similar money to the $30,155 sticker price of our test vehicle, all for an equally, some say more, attractive, leather-lined, better-performing, more efficient execution of the same formula. If you need a new midsize sedan, the Accord is one of the wisest picks you can make, but if you seek out a pristine, low-mileage 10th gen, you may be more pleased with your purchase. We wouldn't stop you from checking one out.